This is just a basic wooden plate. I painted it a little black dress. And now I want to seal it so that the next color that I put on doesn't blend in with this. So I am using DIY's liquid patina. Connie here from The Paint Photographer. I have a story to tell you. We had an early night. That's not like us, but it was early. It was nine o'clock and we went to bed. Now let's apply White Swan. This is a DIY paint. It's clay based, all natural, and it covers really well, but we'll still need two coats. So it's only around 10.30 and I feel my husband sit up. Someone's in the house. What? And he thought that Shannon had got up to go to the bathroom and he was listening to her and when he sat up in bed, the footsteps got faster. We heard the footsteps running down the driveway. I still, to this day, cannot get that sound out of my ears. And he ran down the driveway, he ran down the road, he got into a car, and the car took off. China blue ink on the stamp pad. Now I'm applying the ink to the Bohemian stamp. I found the center and I continue to stamp with that Bohemian stamp. It has a continuous pattern, so just keep following where it belongs. This is something I like to do. I take the stamp pad and just press around the entire edge, giving it that dark blue look and then i wanted an inside rim so i took a paper plate squirted a little china blue on another plate and took a paintbrush and painted around the outside of the plate using it as a guide and a mask we stood there and watched him out our bedroom window we had a robber in our house that was coming up our stairs to our bedrooms. And we watched him run down the driveway, run down the road, get in a car and drive away. And we stood there, eyes wide open. Now what? Now I'm going to use the lemon drop transfer. These are so fun, but they do need to be cut out. So I'm gonna cut a few out and I'll show you how I use them. Now that we got the plate all stamped with the Bohemian stamp, it looks a little bright. I'm gonna dull it down a bit. Some 120 grit sandpaper. And there you have the sanded side and you have the not sanded side. See the difference? We went downstairs and uh, there was money missing out of my husband's wallet. There was money missing out of my purse. Nothing else was missing, just money. Our house was locked and the keys were in my vehicle in the garage. So he got into the garage, took the keys out of my vehicle, came in, went through my husband's wallet, my purse, and was on his way up the stairs and we were sleeping. This is DIY Big Top, and I sell it on my website, thepaintedphotographer.com. All of these products you can find there. Please hop on over there when you're done watching here and take a look. The Big Top is gonna make those colors pop. While that dries, we have another project to do. The lemons are a bit on the transparent side, so that blue china pattern is gonna come right through the lemons. I don't want that. I want the lemons to be nice and solid. So this is what I thought of. I take some blank sheets from the transfers. 
I take a Sharpie marker. Then I'm gonna take this blank sheet and I'm gonna lay it right over top of my transfer. There's my outline. Now I'm gonna cut that out. My husband said, Connie, call the cops, we've been robbed. And I said, no, we haven't. And he said, call the cops, we've been robbed. I was still in disbelief that we were sleeping and someone was in our house. And they talked to us and they said they wanted to come back in the morning and do fingerprinting to try and figure out who was in our house and stole from us while we were all sleeping. You have to eyeball where these are gonna go. So for this one, I'm gonna put it up here in this area. I'll remove this one and lay this one down. Now I will take a pencil. Well, after the house got fingerprinted and we got questioned, um, the investigating officer said that it's probably someone uh, that we know and someone that's been watching us and watching our habits. They apparently were watching in our windows when we would go to bed at night and knew where all of our personal items were. He was still a kid, had no fear. And, uh, actually, when they caught him, he had to write an apology letter to us, write an apology letter to our children, and do some community service. But I wanted to verbally talk to him in the same room. So he had to meet with John and I in the same room and apologize to us, and we got to ask him questions. White swan, and paint that area. All right, I big topped them. So these white spots right here are all big topped. So is the entire plate. Here's this one. And we're gonna place it on the plate. Right over top of the mask that I have for this one. Then you're gonna take your stick and rub this transfer off. Now that lemon is not transparent, you cannot see that china pattern through that lemon. Wooden plate turned into china with some lemon transfers. Please follow me at thepaintedphotographer.com and order any of these products that you see here used today. Also, I have my own YouTube channel, The Painted Photographer. So hop on over there, give me a like, like. Hop on over to there. Hop on over there, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy painting. Why were you coming up the stairs? You already got the money. You were already in our house and got away with it. But he was coming up the stairs to see if he could steal any guns. That is the dumbest thing you could ever do is break into somebody's house when they're sleeping. You don't know what they're going to do when they wake up out of a sleep and hear someone in their house. The only thing that saved him is my husband thought it was our daughter. So he listened to him for a while. So please subscribe to my channel on YouTube 
and also the DIY A Go Go channel, please give me a like.